Gotta get into this. Some dry skin I have. I don't know why my skin is so dry, but yeah. Definitely check into this if you can find it on sale. Yes. Hey, what's goody? It's your boy Onegs. Welcome back to another video. Yup, another one. Okay. I finally got my hands on that HG, HG, HD skin matte velvet powder foundation from Makeup Forever. Everyone is talking about it. Like, we need to get into like trying a testing new makeup or testing newness. That's what I like calling it. Testing newness. <laughs> so I have that. That's going to be like the highlight as well as the Cloud Crush uh, blush from Too Faced and their new like chocolate mascara. Got to get into all of this. And then, y'all yeah, know I fell in love with that Wet n Wild um, powder. I had to get the liquid. <laughs> I had to get the liquid. So, yeah, we're going to play around with all this stuff, plus some other stuff. And, yeah, let's get into it. Let go. All right, did my skincare about an hour ago. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go in with this primer from Wet n Wild. Uh, I just got this one. Since I have fell in love with the powder, the 5-in-1 Essence Primer plus Finishing Powder, I purchased the liquid. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the 5-in-1 Essence Primer Liquid. It says, um, shake it up, apply it all over the face, let it set for a minute, and then go in with your rest of your products, you know? So, yeah. I'm just going to go in with a regular primer brush. This is the um, Real Technique one that I'm obsessed with. It says it has Caledonia and rose water in it. It's supposed to smooth, condition, refine pores, balance, and prolong makeup. Ooh, feels really cooling on the skin. I just put some on the back of my hand and went in with the brush. Going in with the Quickie Concealer from Urban Decay. Since I'm going to be using a powder foundation, I figured I'll do my concealer first. Going in with a little bit of the Putty Bronzer from e.l.f. in Sunkissed. Yeah, Sunkissed. Going in with a little bit of powder from Wet n Wild, that 5-in-1 Essence Primer. Uh, Essence Primer plus Finishing Powder and a little e.l.f. Puff. Everybody was talking about it. I had to get it. This is the Makeup Forever Professional... Oh, no, HD Skin Matte Velvet. Uh... 24 hour undetectable blurring powder foundation. Okay. Buildable, medium to full coverage, waterproof, sweatproof, smudge proof, ideal for normal combination, oily skin. I have combination skin, uh, a little bit of texture. So, yeah, let's see. I do sweat a lot. I'm being. I'm going to work, so I sweat a lot when I'm at work. The compact is so cute. I'm in shade 2N26, I think. Yeah, so the compact matches the shade, I guess. It's like soft matte. Okay, a mirror, uh, a puff. And then the product. Well, okay. I'm not going to use this puff, but I guess it's great for like touch-ups and stuff like that. I think they say use it if you want the most coverage. Um, I was told that if you want like light coverage, just use a um, brush, like a powder brush. So, I mean, that's what we're going to kind of do.
All right, so I have it on this half of the face. It's very blurring. It is beautiful. Like you see how it just like even my skin and I'm wearing it like light coverage, like light to medium. Wow, it's pretty. Like it looks just like my skin. I don't feel anything on right now. Like it doesn't make me look like dry or anything like that. Mm. Easy to apply, feels weightless on me. It doesn't make my skin look ashy or dry. You don't even feel it, beautiful. It just blurred the skin, took away some of the redness. Like it's definitely like a sheer to medium coverage when you use it with a brush. If you want more fuller, you know, you could pack it on with like a puff or you know, it's probably a sponge or the sponge that comes in it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm happy with this. Like, yeah. All right. So let me finish everything else and I'll be back for the blush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I sprayed a little bit of Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Scented Spray in green tea. Ginger. A uh, little mini. Look at it. It's so cute. It's so little. It's whittle. And I went in with a puff. No, I went in with a sponge all over just to melt the powder in. Now it really looks velvety and beautiful, actually. Yes. I miss this duo. Dusty Rose Maracuja Lip Liner from Tarte and the Cream Maracuja Lip Creme. Soft Rose. It's like my perfect lip lip shade color product i don't know beautiful right so i finished a couple of things like i said off camera uh went in with the ram beauty brow clear brow gel for something quick the brows are cousins again what else did i use i went in with a little bit of huda beauty palette the medium glow of sessions mini face palette with this shade right there Lord, what a waste of money. Uh, what else? I went in with a little bit of the ColourPop bronzer, the Silver Strand Beach one. Uh, what else did I use? The new Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, the chocolate one. Went in with a couple of coats of that. I have another Too Faced product. This is the Cloud Crush Blurring Blush in Tequila Sunset. This packaging is so cute. Like, <sighs> ooh. So, ooh. So it matches the packaging to a T. To a T. I thought I smelled something nice and sweet. Okay, I got a little Alomar Cosmetics um, angled, what is it? Complexion brush, but it's angled. Yeah, I don't know. Go in. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Sometimes I go all, like, really in with blush. Sometimes I just want a little bit. Is this blurring? But I am going to work, so... I don't be wanting to look like a clown <laughs> going to work. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, looks like I've been out in the sun, you know? Beautiful. I don't know about blurring, but looks beautiful. And like, that's like the new rage. Well, everybody's talking about it. So I think I need more shades. Let me just throw on a little bit more of this. Uh, Highlighter. All right, so this is my finished look. What do y'all think? <laughs> I'm going to do a little check-in later, like at the end of my shift. So I work for eight hours. So I'll check in at the end of that to see how I look. Uh, ooh, 
I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> as far as the Wet n Wild 5 in 1 Essence Primer Liquid, I have to keep playing around with it. It was easy to use. It definitely helped blur the skin a little bit and hydrate the skin. Um, so yeah, and it's a very affordable. So I'm happy to see how this turns out. So the Makeup Forever. So the Makeup Forever powder, the HD Skin Matte Velvet powder. Uh, it says it's 24 hours, so we'll see about that one. Undetectable Blur Powder Foundation. Um, yeah, we'll see how it is. Packaging is all that in a bag of chips. It was so easy to use. It looked beautiful on the skin. Blurring, velvety. Uh, I'm trying to, I can't wait to see how the day turns out. But as far as now, I'm liking it so far. Let me show the inside of it like that really beautiful packaging i'm loving this and i tried one of their other foundations that I had gotten discontinued i loved it it was like the end of invisible something i forgot what hd something beautiful beautiful like mm -hmm. i mean the mascara it's fine it's a it's a brown color i was gonna say a chocolate color it's fine so far it doesn't do anything it's not outstanding yet, you know what I mean? You know I'm hashtag natural lashes, so you know I love to try out a mascara. But um it does something to me, you know what I mean? It does a little something. I'm not a big fan of an hourglass, like chunky type of mascara wand, but and it's a thicker, like mousse type of well, it's like the same consistency as the old one, uh, the original, I guess. Uh the cloud crush, blurring uh blush beautiful packaging it smells good too and um i'm loving the shade i definitely want to pick up more you know what i mean like this shade is beautiful tequila sunrise tequila sunset yeah uh i think there's a beautiful shade very beautiful like corally orangey peachy type of shade Beautiful on the skin. Yeah, I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to put the check in now. I need something for my lips. They are dry as your vagina. All right, so I just threw on a little bit of this Buxom Plump Shot. Oh, so good. It's in filler. They're clear shade. Um, So I'm here in the parking lot at work. I thought I was going to work today, uh, but I forgot to sign up for OT, I guess. Um, so the wear time test at work is out the window. Um, and that's the perfect place to test out products. Well, to test them out, you know, on your face or whatever, because like to do a wear test. Should I say that? Because I'm working nonstop for the eight hours. Well, for the seven hours out of the eight hours. Um... So that's out the window, but I'm going to go hit up the grocery store and maybe Target and see, well, grocery store because I want to make an Italian like breakfast sandwich and then Target because I want to see if they have the new NYX, uh, what is that? Moisturizer and under eye pads. Um, so, ooh, yeah, the nails are giving, right? Ah, love them. Love them. Um, and they're mine. See? It's all mine. All mine, baby. Um, so, yeah, I'll try to check in later on. Yeah. <laughs> the makeup is giving makeup. <laughs> so, anyway, um... Yeah, this is how everything's looking so far. Um, texture, because, you know, I'm a human being. Um, with no filters on or anything like that. The lashes are better than I thought in actual sunlight. Or, well, it's not no sunlight because the sky is very gray. It's rainy or raining. Or it rained and it's about to rain again. But, yeah, just wanted to show you real quick. 
All right, so I know I look a mess. I look oily. Listen, I've had this makeup on for about 18 hours. I took two naps. I ate two or three meals. Like, it's been a day. So I just wanted to show you how everything looks now. Uh, mascara's kind of still, like, it's still on, but it did, you know, bleed a little bit or, you know, flake or, yeah, it ran <laughs> away from my eyes. So I just wanted to show you that. A little bit of blush is still there, a little highlighter. But anyway, the foundation, I mean, I'm an oily mess, but I mean, it's been a long day. The um, foundation lasted pretty long. I mean, if I was going to be touching up and stuff like that, I think I would have been great. I didn't touch up not once. Like, this foundation is beautiful, period. I don't know how that check-in went, but hopefully it was good. Sometimes work be stressful, so I don't know about that one. And I have, a like, a hard job. It'd be a, a lot of work, so I'd be, I'd be uh, sweating and stuff. You know what I mean? But, yeah, definitely comment down below. Let me know if you like any of these products. Uh, have you tried any of these? Like, let a brother know. <laughs> uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Or thumbs down. That's fine as well. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And yeah, I'm out. Got to go to work. Deuces.